Hello everyone, welcome to this video about the master's programs Archaeology in Leiden. My name is Vera, I'm the student ambassador and also a master student myself. And in this video I hope to briefly introduce to you uh, to the programs we offer, uh, what your year might look like and why Leiden would be a great place to study archaeology. So in brief we have four programs that last one year, so one, um, four masters and one two-year masters. So let's dive right in. The first one-year master's is Heritage and Museum Studies, which has a focus on archaeological collections in museums and how to deal with heritage, how to display it, how to involve communities with this. But it's also about heritage agencies and big bodies like UNESCO. Those are all topics you cover within the MA Heritage and Museum Studies. Then our next one-year program is the MA Global Archaeology, and this is perhaps what you think of it more classical archaeology. It's big themes, big narratives. How do they play out locally? So one single case study, how do they play out in the region? How do they play out on a large scale? Think of themes like connectivity, migration, uh, climate change. So it's really about these bigger global perspectives and how they really play out and how you can research them individually, but then also seeing them back in a bigger picture. So it's about constantly zooming in and out. Then we have our MA Applied Archaeology, which is largely focused on preparing you for the field, to become a field archaeologist, to work for heritage agencies, uh, really how to become the best field archaeologist possible. Then we have our MSc in Archaeological Science, in which you will focus on one of the five uh, topics stated here, archaeobotany, so pollen, seeds, plants, wood, archaeozoology, uh, animal bones, osteoarchaeology, which is human remains and also funerary archaeology. We have material culture in which we'll focus on artif artifacts and materials and digital archaeology, which will include uh, 3D modeling, databases, GIS, you name it, anything digital will be covered in this track. And it's really about learning a methodology and applying this to your own case study. Generally, this is what the year will look like. You have career profile courses, which are specifically uh, about one of the four programs you just saw. So this, those will be uh, catered to, towards, for example, global archaeology. Um, and you will take them only with people taking your program. Then you have a theory course, which you will take with many more students. You have focus area courses, which you can also take with everybody from all the programs. You have electives and, of course, a big part of your uh, program will be writing your thesis. So what does this mean? Again, the career profile courses are specifically catered towards your program. Applied archaeology, archaeological science, global archaeology, heritage and museum studies. Then you have theory courses, which will either be more catered towards uh, how to apply a specific theory, what are the current uh, paradigms, how are they shifting, how have they evolved. Uh, think of neomaterialism, for example or you follow a scientific methodology course, which will be more for the ar archaeological sciences. Then you have the focus area courses, which uh, can be about a variety of different topics. They can be about a variety of different regions, a variety of different time periods. Think of key concepts in prehistoric Europe or coastal sediments in the Caribbean. It can be really uh, many different things, but the most important thing is that they are taught by a lecturer really focusing on this specific type of research. So you have free choice. You can decide to focus on a time period or a specific region, but you're really free to take pick and mix, really. Um, and then we have the elective space where you can take courses on archaeology more broadly. Think of uh, underwater archaeology, for example, something that is not offered as a focus area course, but which you can take as an elective. Uh, but you can also take a course outside of archaeology. So here you can really decide, do I want to specialize more in archaeology and see it more broadly, or do I want to see how I incorporate different disciplines into my own program? And this is also the space where you can do an internship or a fieldwork project. And then, of course, there's your thesis, uh, which will be an individual project. And as you can see from this slide, we advise to start from uh, with thinking about your thesis straight away. Uh, it will be a big part of your project and it's really useful if you well can incorporate the knowledge you gain in your courses as you go. Uh, so this is an example of what your year might look like so you can just get a broad idea about how many courses you'll be taking and how this will be distributed over the year. Um, and then we also have the two years research master with the main difference that it's more 
academia focused, I would say. You have teaching assistantships in which you will help a lecturer with uh, bachelor courses. You have re uh, research seminars with just the research master students. You'll be attending conferences and workshops. So all of these things are more about having a bit more freedom to create your own path, perhaps a bit more of an academic path, um, and to expand your network at the same time as well. And you have two years to do this, which also means your thesis will be bigger at the end too. Um, and courses you share with the, the one-year programs, you will still have to do a little bit more. So if say you take a focus area course, that would probably mean you have to write a bit of a bigger essay or prepare some discussion points, things like that. Uh, these also make the difference between the one and two year programs. So that in brief are all five courses we have on offer, then why in Leiden? As you can see from the photo, perhaps the glass building is our faculty. It's really just a building for archeologists. We have our own lab, we have our own facilities. Everybody you meet will be an archeologist, which I think is a very big draw uh, to study in Leiden. You get to experience or go to lectures from people researching so many different things. So even if it's not your topic, you can still go to a lecture and still learn about it and still stay updated on the research that's being done which I think creates for a very nice atmosphere as well. You really get to know many people, I feel, quite easily. And they're all archaeologists, so that's, I'd say that's quite fun. Um, we're also, again, an independent, um, independent faculty with a strong international focus too. As you can see, we have all these different courses. We have staff from all around the world, which again, I feel adds to that sort of atmosphere. Um, and then again, we also consistently score in the top 10 of the QS University World Ranking by subject. Um, and because of all of this, I feel the flexibility in individual choices uh, really aids that too. You can take courses on so many different topics that are not specifically aligned into, for example, just Roman archaeology or just prehistory. Um, and you can also take courses outside of the faculty, which I think is quite unique in the master's programs that you're not that tightly held into a specific track or, yeah, well, just that there's more freedom, I'd say, uh, to explore and see what you really enjoy doing. And then personally, why I decided to stay, because I also did my bachelor's here, um, is because of the atmosphere mainly. Here you can see a photo of the, uh, the building during a book market. So there's all of these events going on all the time. There's lectures. Um, you really get to know your fellow classmates your lecturers, so I really think that makes for a nice atmosphere and that's really definitely why I decided to stay for my masters. Um, and the city of Leiden also has many museums. This is the National Museum of Antiquities. Um, so what you read about in the books, you can actually go visit in the museum, which I thought was really, really cool, uh, especially when familiarizing yourself with new types of, well, new regions or new periods you haven't heard of before. Um, and it's also where I did an internship for my master's. So it's not just about reading again, it's also about really getting hands-on experience. And I think on that note, uh, I would like to end this presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you would like to know more about our programs, please have a look at our website, uh, follow us on the socials, and with any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching.